Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see the example problems in Omron PLC. So, we will see the first example in this session. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our channel for more videos and updates. So, without any further delay, we will move on to the first example. So, here we are, we are having two subdivisions. Let us see the first, uh, you know, problem. Design a program to switch on and off a light using two push buttons. So, whenever you are seeing the, you know, uh, PLC program, you want to design a PLC program, just understand the question. There is a first step. The second step, what you have to do is, you have to take the IO list. So, what and all is the input and what and all is the output. If you have a clarity on that, it will be easy for you to write the program. Alright. So, uh, let us read the, you know, uh, problem again. Design a program to switch on and off a light using two push buttons. So, let us take IO list. Here we are having two inputs, correct? Because they are asking us to use two push buttons, one for on and one for off, correct? Yeah, so two push buttons, two inputs and we have only one output which is light, alright? So, let us see how to do this in the Omron PLC. So, since they have, they have told you regarding the push button, you have to use push button. What does that mean and how it will get differ from, you know, normal switch? That and all you have to go to the basics of our class and you can get to know the purpose of and the usage of push button and how, what is the difference between this push button and the normal switch. Okay. So, let us do this in the program. Okay. So, let us take a push button here. So, I am going to name this push button as 0, 0.0 and I am going to give a name as start PB. What does that mean? Start push button. Okay. So, let us take one output here and this is going to be our light. Alright, light. So, connect. Alright, so first we will uh, try to see how it is working. So, the working of push button you know right, while press it will be on, immediately you have to release it, ok. So, let us do the same thing, I am going to turn on and you will be releasing no, so I am turning off, alright. So, my light is going off, correct, but my light have to be remain on even though if I release the switch. What does that mean? What I have to do? And the concept is called as latching. So, you have to do the latching here. So, let us add that. And what is the latching coil you have to use? You have to use the same output. That is it. So, now this concept is called as latching. Even though you release the push button, your light remains on condition. So, just check out here. I am turning on the push button and immediately I am releasing it. Since it is a simulation, I am turning off. Alright. So, you can see your light remains in on condition. Correct. So, we have turned on the light using a push button. So, now we have to turn off the light. What we have to do? The light has already turned on in this way. So, you have to put some restriction here that will make your light to go off. Correct. So, what I have to do? I have to put a normally closed contact of one more push button. And I am naming that as, okay, this is, I have to change the name.
okay better delete this and we'll add it again 0 0.01 which is my stop push button all right i have added so let's go for the online why we have used the normally closed contact here because this is called as unlatching okay whenever you are doing latching you have to do the unlatching also what is unlatching it will break the contact so latching will make the contact and unlatching will break the contact so now we got the solution for our question no we are turning on the light and turning off the light using two push buttons so you have turned on here and since it is a push button you have to be get release and you are using one more light I am sorry one more switch sorry it is a push button to turn off it so you have to turn on the second push button it will unlatch the light I mean it will turn off the light okay again you can release the switch release the push button I am getting the word switch it is a push button all right again you can turn on and you can release it you can turn off using one more push button so this is how the first problem gets solved okay so let's move on to the second problem okay there is one more option over here instead of latching and unlatching you can use the set coil also so i'll show you that also so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the start push button to set a light look at this set 100.0 what does that mean okay there should be only one output we'll delete the first uh, you know network or else for the time being what i'll do I will just change the address. I will make light to correct. Okay. Now, this is set no. So, what will happen once you press it will set the coil, it will set the output. And what you have to do? Obviously, whenever you are setting, you have to reset also, right? So, for that, you are using a stop push button to reset the light to or S reset. 100.01 that's it this is another way of you know latching instead of using the latching coils you can make use of the set and reset instructions look at this i'm turning on the push button it's turned on your light too even though if you turn off it remains on see it remains on correct now turn on your stop push button so it got off that's it okay so let's move on to the next problem When switch 1 is pressed, Q0 is on. When switch 2 is pressed, Q1 is on and Q0 is off. Okay. So, you have two inputs as of now and two outputs. Correct. And now, when switch 3 is pressed, Q0 is again on and Q1 is off. So, what they are telling, whenever you are turning on the first switch, one output is on. One of the output. Okay. When you turn on the second switch, the previous output have to go off. Look at this. The previous output have to go off and the new output has to be on. And one more switch is pressed means the output which has turned off in the last condition that have to turn on and Q1 is off. Okay. So, here we are having three inputs and three outputs. So, I am making 
switch one okay so whenever switch one is on what we have to turn on we have to turn on q01 correct q01 q0 so q0 is on whenever you are turning on switch one q0 is on correct and what is the next statement whenever switch 2 is on so i'm giving one address for switch 2 and what we have to turn on we have to turn on one more output i'm naming that as q1 okay so we know how to turn on right you have to connect the you know contact directly with the coin that's it all right and one more step is pending over here what is that when switch 2 is on your first output have to go off what does that mean you have to break this line to break what we have to do we have to use the normally closed contact and i'm naming as the same second switch correct first two steps are done so let's see up to this So turn on, see it's a switch, okay, there is a difference, so no need to turn off this, they have not given any, con any uh, you know, uh, uh, statement that you have to turn off your switch, nothing like that, in the, wish, in the problem they have just told turning on only, so you have turned on, your output is on, turn on the second input, your second input on will make the Q1 on and Q0 off, correct, correct. So after this, we have done the correct flow. And what is the third one? Whenever switch 3 is on, Q1 have to go off and Q0 again have to turn on. So to turn off Q1, we know we have to put a normally closed contact of switch 3. Correct. And to turn on Q0, what we have to do? We have to write, uh, you know, get the parallel contact over here. Okay. I'll put the switch 3 name 0 0.04. Okay. Switch 3 is on and I'm going to connect here. So, what will happen? Switch Three is going to turn on to turn on Q0 because I have connected in the parallel where it has stopped there we have to find the parallel path okay so do the simulation okay Q1 Q0 is going to on whenever you are turning on switch 1 so when switch 2 is on Q1 is on, Q0 is off, correct. When switch 3 is on, this fellow is off and this fellow is again on, that's it, correct. So like this, you can make so many interlock according to the logic given. So I hope you have understand these two, you know, examples for the, uh, you know, in the home run PLC. So kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates and videos like this. I will meet you in the next session. Thank you.